Well, Social Development Minister Lindiwe Zulu will officially close the active ageing programme that is being held in Port Elizabeth. And she's expected to take part in an aerobic session with 90 elderly people. Now, the aim of the five-day programme has been to promote a healthy lifestyle. It also aims to uphold the human rights of older people and to respond to their social developmental needs in this country. It seeks to improve the quality of life for older people, promote independence and encourage participation in various social, cultural and sporting initiatives. And we cross now to our reporter Anda Ngonji uh, for more on this particular event. And she is at the Nelson Mandela Bay University sports field. And it's over to you, Anda. A very good morning to you. As you can see, we are all geared up and ready to end our, work, our week rather with a good workout. Now, Port Elizabeth has been a very beautiful place to be in, especially for the elderly, and especially this week, as um, Monday marked the start of the Active Aging um, Program hosted by the Social Development. Now, this program, um, amongst its many aims, it also aims to encourage the elderly, you know, to take care of themselves and stay aware of their emotional, physical and mental well-being and to make sure that um, things like old age related illnesses or diseases are reduced intensely but standing next to me right now is the Minister of Social Development Ms. Lindiwe Asi Zulu to tell us more about this program Ma'am, a very good morning to you Good morning to you and good morning to the SABC viewers Now we understand why you're always looking fresh and pretty Can you please just tell us what has this program been about? This program is about encouraging uh, older people to take care of themselves because social development is about each and every individual of society every citizen including the elderly from nine provinces we've brought together here uh, people of old age who have come here not only for the games that you saw here today it's also about feeding them from an information point of view of what is it that they can do to make sure that they live a healthier and much more active life we're here because we want to encourage the provinces also to make sure that this program Program is highlighted in the provinces. What I liked here today is that most of the elderly who were here, they said when they go back, they will organize and mobilize people within their communities to wake up in the morning and just shake the body a little bit every morning or every afternoon. Mm. And can you take us through this week? You obviously started and opened this program on Monday here in Port Elizabeth. Yes. Um, obviously, there's, there's been a lot of activities um, between then and now. Can you just take us through just briefly uh, some of the highlights of the program? Well, the first was the, the the elderly, the parliament, uh, because we had the parliament, they were like really like in parliament, they were debating, they were arguing, they were raising in the main the issues of major concern to them. It's about the life that they live in our communities which in, in the main are still very poor uh, communities. They were raising issues of crime against them, they were raising issues of health, they were raising issues of housing, everything that we as government already know that these are the concerns for our people. So that parliament wrapped up with something, a document that they're going to give to us as the Department of Social Development, which then we have to distribute to all other de uh, departments. Then we've got the games, and I think what is interesting in the games is that it's not only these games, but also they're bringing indigenous games. Most people don't know what uh, indigenous games are. They're trying to revive those games to be something, and then also they're sharing the games because from one province to the next, the games might not necessarily be the same. But most importantly, Many of them have never gotten into an aeroplane. Many of them have never come out of their own provinces. Many of them have never seen the sea. It's the first time that they see uh, the sea. And then next they will decide which province next they are going to. Because we work together with their organized organization because they do have an organization. What we would like to encourage is that families must also assist the elderly. They must not abuse them. And my message especially to the younger people who take away their social grants um, uh, cards and they take the money away from them and yet they leave the elderly with their children. The message to them that we are here, we want to change that. We want elderly people to also uh, uh, have the same rights as everybody else. They must also enjoy the support of government. They must also enjoy the support of communities.
And on a lighter note, we started off um, our day today with a bit of a session of aerobics. Can you tell us, how is that for you? How is the experience? You know? Well, the thing is, I'm used to this because I'm a person that really, really loves uh, moving. And I, I belong to a gym. I exercise as far as I possibly can. The job I have makes it a bit difficult, but I always find the time. So all the, the elderly people here were saying they didn't know that they could easily do these exercises and, and still keep fit. With 30 minutes of exercise exercise and none of them fell off, none of them collapsed, none of them, nothing happened. Everyone was able to take the exercise and we wish to thank the sponsor obviously for having uh, come up and assisted us with this because we want to be calling on others to also sponsor us in the next province where we're going to because working together as South Africans we can make it. I think that these games can also help unite South Africans because I look at the people who are here today and I'm seeing they're still not a reflection of the South Africa. So when we next go to the next province, we're going to try by all means to make sure that they are a reflection of a united and unified South Africa with no racism uh, in it. So that's what we're going to try and do in the next province, which we'll be going to. The next province will be announced this afternoon. Okay, thank you so much. My well, pleasure. Well, you heard it for yourself. That was the Minister of Social Development, Ms. Lindy Wizzulu, um, saying that actually encouraging the elderly to continue to take care of themselves and appealing to the caregivers of the elderly as well to be there for them, not to abuse them and to make sure that everything goes smooth in their lives. But now we cross over to sports.